What's going on, Internet 64 guy coming at you for my 2021 game room tour. The room has changed so much in the past year. I added the coolest feature of all, the cloud ceiling, man. It's not on right now, but I'll turn it all on for you. It just, it makes the room pop and look so damn cool, man. Anyways... I'll give you just an overview of the room and then we'll go and do the 2021 game room tour. So, there's the wall as you walk in. They just redid it. Then we have the sealed wall, which is my factory sealed set. Five games away from having the entire set factory sealed which is pretty damn cool. Then we've got my Blockbuster sign over here. And then of course the TV set up with the uh, 12 Nintendo 64s. And I've got my Monopoly prototype playing on it right now. So yeah, there's a quick overview of the game room and then we'll go and do an in-depth overview of everything here in a moment. We'll start off with lights. So we've got first off my custom N64 guy sign. That's the coolest thing ever, man. I just picked that up. I got it made by Mr. Turtle on Instagram. I'll link him in the description box below. It's totally wireless. You can change the settings on it. There's like 10 different things on it on the remote and whatnot. And we have the Nintendo sign above the door. I picked this up off eBay, I think for $80 way, way back in like 2014. And last but not least for signs, we got the uh, ever-popular Blockbuster sign, man. I picked this up off of eBay for, I think it was like 1200 bucks. It's the best purchase I've ever made. It's made me so damn happy. If you ever come across one, I highly recommend you picking one up. So those are my three signs in the game room. The 64 guy sign, the Nintendo sign, and then the Blockbuster sign. Next up. All right, next up. We'll turn on all the remote LEDs that we have, illuminating everything in the game room. It looks so cool. I think I have, there's 40 or 50 lights in total in the room with LED strips. We include everything. They're all made by Lunzi. I bought them off of Amazon. Now that we have almost everything on. Almost everything is on now. Okay, we have everything on. Now we can start and share with you all my happy place of all the treasures. I really hope you enjoy however long this game room tour is going to be. All right, starting off on this shelf, as you walk in, we've got the Nintendo sign above the door. I've got an exploded Nintendo 64 magnet on the back. I've got the throwback gamer hats on the wall. Then we've got just some random games here on this shelf with a Toys R Us goodie box on top. I found that on eBay last year. It had a f basketball in it and a t-shirt and a couple other things. And we've got some Wii titles here. A Nokia 3310. Some Switch games. PlayStation 2. My PlayStation Portable games. My p favorite PS3 titles. Laser Suit Larry, Naughty Bear, 3D Dog Game Heroes, Lollipop Princess. All excellent games. Some 3DS games, the DSi games. Some Nokia N-Gage games. That's it for that small shelf. And then we got at the top here, the Lego NES and TV. My wife got me this for Christmas last year. It was super fun to build. And we've got a SNES Classic here. And a PlayStation Classic. Down 
And here we've got the Super Famicom Classic, the Nintendo Classic, and then this is a fake Nintendo Classic with the Super Nintendo Classic on the back. A Korean Diddy Kong Racing, graded, complete in box, green Nintendo 64. That key card and Quest 64 key card. And we've got the Nintendo 64 complete in box. I scooped that up on eBay earlier this year. I think I paid 100, what was it, 150 bucks? It was dirt cheap. Super excited to pick that up. Then we got the Player's Choice Nintendo 64 games. These ones are sealed. So you got Cruising USA, Star Wars Shadows of the Empire, Kobe Bryant NBA Courtside. This is a graded 90 uncirculated, so a factory sealed case of six was sent in, and this was pulled from that case and graded in the case directly from the case. <coughs> 1080 Snowboarding. We've got Banjo Kazooie, Player's Choice. Some of these are complete in box. So you've got 007, Diddy Kong Racing, a couple Mario Karts, Turok. Star, Fo Star, War Star Fox 64, which is the only game that has the Nintendo 64 logo upside down, which is the weirdest thing. The flap opens backwards, actually. Then you've got Zelda, Yoshi Story, WCW, which is sealed. This is a Mario Kart 64, and this is actually a red label variant. So it's got a sticker over top of it. So this is actually a first print box with a uh, Player's Choice sticker on it. Which is the same idea as the Turok 2 here. And down here on this shelf, we've got just some random games on shelves. We've got a prototype version of Cyber Tiger. I recently got a got this in a trade. And we've got a Watermelon 64. Oh, is what's it, that's got it, is what's in that. Just some random Nintendo 64 titles here. Some uh, custom labels and whatnot. Conquer's Bad Fur Day, I had that custom label made, and then uh, Snowboard Kids 1 and 2 and Beast Wars, all by Wiggy from Rose Color Gaming. And we've got my childhood collection of Nintendo 64 games, and then just random complete and box games I've accumulated over the years. Down on this shelf, we've got the Asian Turok 2 case of 6. Then the Nintendo 64 DD games. And on the bottom shelf, we've got my next submission for the Video Game Authority. And then finishing off this side of the room, we've got my Hori mini pad collection hanging on the wall, all 10 of them. So you've got Snow White, Ice Blue, or sorry, yeah, Ice Blue, Clear Ice, sorry, and Clear Red. Atomic, gold, yellow, black, red, blue, and green. That's all ten of them. So that's that side of the room. Start off on my favorite wall, I should say. The sealed wall. This is the entire Nintendo 64 library. Factory sealed. Well, almost. I'm missing like five games. Six games in total. To have the whole library. So... Let you have an overview of the wall there. Start off at the top. So we've got my Australian exclusive Fantastics that are complete in box. We've got Grape and Ice and Fire and <clears throat> Fire and Jungle. And then we've got just a Japanese complete in box gray controller. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Target pre-order bonus exclusive. Uh, Rumble Pack. And then we've got a sealed RF switch back there. And we have a sealed expansion pack, a sealed controller pack, and then last but not least, a sealed cleaning kit. And then we've got Taz Express, this was a PAL exclusive, and we've got a random copy of Arrow Fighters Assault. And we'll start off on the bottom here. These are all factory sealed, so we've got 40 winks. The Kickstarter, this is both cartridges, I never opened them. The W's, so my favorite game and out of all of these is Wave Race 64. On this shelf, we've got a riser on it here, so I can have two, two rows of games stacked, and I did that by cutting a shelf in half. And then up here, we've got lights on this shelf. 
Got Golden Eye, everybody's favorite game. I love this game. Amazing game. Harvest Moon 64, also excellent game. And then, hey, you Pikachu. And this starts off the graded section. So these are the Korean versions of Diddy Kong Racing. They didn't come with cellophane on them. And they gra both graded 95, which is absolutely mint. And we've got Premier Manager, 70, which is a 75. This is a PAL exclusive. Horrible grade. That's fine, though. And then we got Duck Dodgers, also horrible grade, but also a rare game to find. Yoshi Story. This is a 90 plus. I had a case of them at one point when I was when I first started collecting. And then we've got WWF WrestleMania 2000. And I don't remember if this one had the uh, card attached to the back. No, it doesn't. There's one that has a lenticular card at the back as well. The next shelf we've got couple South Parks. South Park Rally was an excellent game. I enjoyed that one. We've got South Park, just South Park. Snowboard Kids 1 and 2. Pretty fun games. Hard to find. Scooby-Doo. Classic Creepers. Classic Creep Capers. Also an excellent game. Scars, San Francisco Rush, and then Rush Extreme Racing. We've got Hexen. Hydro Thunder, which was one of my first games that I ever bought. We've got Indiana Jones, Infernal Machine, Blockbuster exclusive. There's actually two variants of the box, two variants of this one that has a Blockbuster uh, movie, to, like Blockbuster logo right there on it. I don't have that one. I just have this one. <clears throat> Indy Racing 2000, Knockout Kings, Lego Racers, Load Runner, and then the very first game that sparked my interest in sealed and graded games was Mega Man 64. I paid 125 bucks for it. This shelf we've got. I haven't figured out how I want to display the controllers yet, so they're kind of just thrown throughout on these shelves since I reorganized. I gotta get some sort of lights for in here. I'm thinking some LED strips maybe, but I'm not 100% sure. These are just the solid colored controllers. And then the next shelf we have the Jungle Fantastic with the Jungle Wireless Brawler from Retro, Retro Fighters. We've got a blister of jungle there. We've got the jungle console with the jungle green controller. And then a 3D printed controller stand. And then a 3D printed stand holding that to make it angled and make it look good. Up at the top, we've got a Nintendo IQ, which is a handheld Nintendo 64. Released in Hong Kong in 2003. We've got the watermelon Nintendo 64. And then the rarest of all the blisters is the watermelon red. Next up, we've got smoke at the top here. So we've got blister smoke, two blisters, the console with matching controller at an angle. And then we've got fire. And then we've got two loose ones on 3D printed stands. Two blisters, the console again on another 3D printed stand. These roll of controllers are the Fantastics along with the extreme green and atomic purple <clears throat> so you've got ice blue atomic purple grape watermelon red jungle green fire orange extreme green this row we've got goemon's great adventure glover both gexes gauntlet legends this one's dead mint it's a 95 plus i submitted a case years back and then this is also one of my best scores ever Scooped it up for twenty dollars. It's a ninety-five. May not be the best title, but it's a mint game. Next up, we've got Quake. Quake Two. Uh, Quake Two was actually my one hundredth sealed title. That's an eighty-five. We've got Quest sixty-four. Rat Attack. Rayman. Blockbuster exclusive. Razor Freestyle Scooter. Ready to Rumble Boxing. Rugrats the movie. Wetrix sixty-four. Win back covert ops, wipeout, WWF attitude, WWF no mercy, WWF Warzone, Xena Warrior Princess, and then World Driver Championship with the uh, sweepstakes sticker on the bottom there. Down here we've got my sealed games that haven't yet been graded. 
This is the F section. Duke Nukem 64, Earthworm Jim, ECW Hardcore Revolution, F Zero X, F1, FIFA. Then we've got a riser here to separate these games so I can have an extra shelf. Uh, NBA Courtside featuring Kobe Bryant. And to finish off this shelf. So that is the third shelf we got there. We've got gold, which was a Toys R Us exclusive. I've got a graded version, which is an 80 plus. And then I've got an ungraded blister controller. And we've got one of my favorite pickups ever, my Gauntlet of the Legends Warrior figure that's graded 85 plus gold. I picked that up for 450 bucks way back in 2014. And we've got the Toys R Us gold Nintendo 64. Below that, we've got the Ice Blue. We've got two blisters back there. The console itself with the controller. Another controller. And then we've got the Retro Fighter Brawlers wireless Ice Blue controller. And we've got the wireless gray controller. The three Nintendo Power controllers. So we've got Nintendo Power 100, the Millennium 2000, Donkey Kong 64. And we've got the wireless brawler watermelon variant. Shelf down here, we've got a few notable titles. So you've got Cruising Exotica, Cruising World, Doom 64, and Excite Bike 64. I loved Excite Bike, man. Back in the day, that was awesome. And we've got Polaris, Pokemon Stadium 2, Pokemon Snap, or sorry, not Pokemon Snap, Pokemon Puzzle League, Pilot Wings, which was one of the first games released for the 64 along with Super Mario 64. PGA European Tour, Perfect Dark, Paperboy, and Olympic Hockey. This shelf has V-Rally, Virtual Pool, Virtual Chess, uh, War Gods, Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey, WCW Backstage Assault, and WW, uh, WCW Mayhem. Then we've got some ungraded games. Charlie Blast, Chopper Attack, Clay Fighter, Sculptor's Cut, that's just a placeholder box. Then we've got Cruising USA, Cyber Tiger, and Dr. Mario 64. Notable title there, we've got In the Zone 2000, which is a pretty difficult title to find sealed. Then we've got the three Mortal Kombats. The three Mario Parties, Mischief Makers, Mission Impossible. And then down here we've got Star Fox. Star Wars, Stunt Racer is just a reproduction box, and then we got Legend of Zelda, and The World is Not Enough. And that rounds off that shelf. Next up we have the Pokemon console. We've got Detective Pikachu here, stand and watch over uh, Pikachu right here for the Pokemon console. And we've got Hey You Pikachu, complete in box copy of Pokemon Stadium 2. One of my favorite games, Worms Armageddon. And then Pokemon Stadium, complete in box. Down here we've got the Grape Nintendo 64. Two blister controllers. The console on a stand. Looking awesome. And then we've got the Steel Stick 64, which is a uh, steel bowl with a steel stick. Then we've got another DK64 controller. Another Nintendo Power 100 controller. The three Pokemon controllers. This one was an Australian exclusive. Or PAL exclusive, sorry, not Australia exclusive. Uh, these ones are from Japan. And then we have the North American one right here. This next shelf, we've got a few notable titles here. Well, not really, but uh, Battle Tank Global Assault. Pretty tough game to find. Blues Brothers 2000. Down here, we've got one of my favorite games, Monopoly 64. I love that game. Highly recommend playing it if you've never played it. Then we've got a Blockbuster exclusive, NFL Blitz Special Edition. Next shelf down we have Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. I loved this game as a kid, man. It's one of my all-time favorite games. And then we have the very last game ever released for the Nintendo 64, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. This is not in very good shape, but I do have a spare copy that does need to be graded that's in better shape. We've got another garbage condition game, but... Uh, Hard to find. Tom and Jerry, Fists of Fury. This is a 60. And then we've 
we've got Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask, 85. I think I paid 250 bucks for that. That was a good score years and years ago. Down here, we've got some raw games. Beetle Eventual Racing, Blast Corpse. This is just a reproduction box. I'm using it as a placeholder for now. Carmageddon 64. I need to replace this. This has a hole in the front there. One day, maybe I'll find another copy that's in better shape. Down here, we've got... Ken Griffey Jr. Slug Vest back there. Killer Instinct Gold. Kirby. Knife Edge Nose Gunner. Madden 64. Madden 99. Madden 2000. Madden 2002. Magical Tetris Challenge. Major League Baseball. And then Mario Golf, of course. I love Mario Golf. Highly recommend playing it if you never have. And last but not least on this shelf, we've got Spider-Man, Space Station Silicon Valley. Shadow Man. Both. Sesame Streets. Road Rash 2000, Roadsters, Robotron, and Rocket Robot on wheels. And that rounds off that shelf. Starting off on this shelf, we've got my Fox Data Electric Blue. This is one of one. This is the only one in the world. It was a gift from the CEO and founder of Fox Data a few years ago. Well, about five years ago now. Then we've got my first Fox Data. So that's Desert Storm, Chrome Leopard, Red Rain, and Purple Forest. We've got the Toys R Us, or not, or sorry, Toy Story 2. Next up, we've got the Fox Data Collection. So we up top, we've got the Electric Blue Console with the Series 1, which is Purple Forest, Red Rain, Desert Storm, and Chrome Leopard. And then we've got the Toy Story 2 Movie Ticket variant on top. On this shelf, we've got Bronze, Gold, the Chrome Console with a golden copy of 007 a electric blue and the chrome controller and then we've got two graded japanese nintendo games 64 games pokemon stadium gold and silver and then sin and punishment and then in the center we've got my favorite one of my favorite variants shadow man with sunglasses attached to the back down here we've got some japanese exclusive controllers so we've got the clear ice clear red Jusco. This is the Hello Mac. Back there we've got the Joffrey controller, the Die Hawks, and then another Hello Mac. And then last but not least, the 40 Winks controller, which isn't a Japanese exclusive. It was just a promo that came with uh, 40 Winks when I pre-ordered it with Kickstarter. Down here we've got some more graded games. This starts off the graded game section. So we've got a few notable titles here. We've got 1080 Snowboarding, and then Banjo-Tooie, 85+. Plus. We've got Army Man Air Combat and Surge's Heroes. On this shelf here, we've got Mickey Speedway, which is an excellent game. I highly recommend playing it if you've never played it. Down here, we've got Tetrisphere, one of the rarer titles to find. Super Bowling. It's not in very good shape, but it was uh, a decent deal at the time. A couple Star Wars games. Mint copy of Space Invaders. The world's worst Nintendo 64 game, Superman 64. South Park, Chef Love Jack. And we've got the raw sealed games here. They'd still need to be graded. Jeopardy, excellent game. Hot Wheels. And then down here, we've got Pokemon Snap. I love that game. Pokemon Stadium Big Box, both Rampages. Resident Evil 2 and Ridge Racer 64. So that rounds out the sealed wall and up here so i've got the transformers deco lights up top autobots decepticons and then a golden grimlock in the center top shelf we've got the rareware sign on this side the nintendo age sign on this side another rareware sign here the blockbuster sign the blockbuster video paperweight gangar because well gangar is awesome with the throwback gamer beanie on it this is one of my favorite pieces. It's a paperweight from 1990, uh, 1989, so it's a year older than I am. Then we've got the Nintendo Switch controller, Blockbuster sign, couple N64 tape measures, another Blockbuster paperweight. This one I think was from 1990, where was it, 4? Yeah, 1994. And then we've got the... Uh, Pokemon Snap Station key keychain. Thor's Mighty Hammer. 
Yoshi, or Red Yoshi, a black Yoshi. Mario Kart Home Circuit, with Mario just chilling on the top there. A Excite Bike 64 standee. <clears throat> and then starting off on the shelves, we've got my two Panasonic Qs. One there, and one there. With Bang I.O. for the Nintendo 64 hiding back there. We've got the Chippo 64, which is a handheld or tabletop Nintendo 64. This shelf here has my Super Mario factory sealed with a open case of Super for Super Mario 64. Then we have Legend of Zelda Ocarina Time Collector's Edition. There's a case and then an open copy. I didn't have a sealed, I couldn't find a sealed copy for a reasonable price. We've got Yoshi's Story case and an open copy and then a blue Yoshi here. Down here we've got my Futurama collection from Toynami. I do love Futurama, that's one of my all-time favorite shows ever. So we've got the Futurama s s sign. We've got Calculon, King Bender, Hypnotoad, Nudar, and then Futurama, Bender's Big Score. This shelf we've got the PlayStation 2 game, we've got Amy, we've got the Robot Devil, his lower body and his arms. A Brain Slug, Golden Bender, Captain Yesterday. The Planet Express ship, which actually lights up. Two of the two of the other two movies. So you got Into the Wild Green on Yonder and Bender, Bender's Game. Now here we've got Captain Yesterday again, King Bender and Clobberella, as well as Robot Santa, the DeLorean from Back to the Future, Zap Brannigan's Space Gun. And we've got a GameCube here with a Wave Bird. Another GameCube. This is a black one, and then we've got another silver glass, silver GameCube. Some new in box Nintendo 64 games. Pokemon Box, three copies of it graded from Japan. And then the ASCII Fishing Reel Rod and a Nokia N-Gage back there. That's what we've got on this shelf here. Here we've got my complete Nintendo 64 card collection. So there's 296 carts released in North America. I have all the color variants plus 25 of the 26 not for resale cartridges. So we'll start off at the top. The top has the complete in box, in boxed controllers. So there's eight in total. Top here we've got black. I think that one is black, right? Yeah, that one's black, yellow, red, gray, atomic purple, blue, green, and extreme green being the hardest to find. Uh, also, I've got the blister collection hidden in here. So we've got the expansion pack, the RF switch, a couple rumble packs, another rumble pack, a memory card, and the transfer pack, which is graded, and I think it's an 80 plus, right? Or no, it's an 80. Next on the shelves, we've got the Perfect Dark collection. So we've got two Perfect Dark press kits and then a graded copy of Perfect Dark. On top of that, we've got the Glove 64, which was for Quest 64. It's the Reality Quest Glove. A couple Best Buy guys. And then a random Yoshi because, well, there's got to be random Yoshis everywhere. And then we've got the Ready to Rumble Boxing Twins. No, they're just, they're not twins. They're the same thing. I just bought two. Only one of them makes sounds, though. I think it's a... Okay. Down here, we've got the uh, cart collection. So these are the not for resale cartridges. And then just random extra cartridges. So... Here's a Blockbuster Pokemon Snap. And then we got our, here's a, a hard one to find. It's a, a WWF Warzone with the back sticker only. And we've got the key card for Mortal Kombat. Sight Bike 64 keychain. Another Best Buy guy. And we've got the Fantastic Mickey Speedway notepad. Three Mario Tennis keychains. The Blockbuster Pokemon Snap Station Kite or uh, chip cards. N64 test cartridge, N64 pen. The player's choice variants, the gray variants, 
1080 snowboarding first aid kit. I've got my Conker's Bad Fur Day press kits, my graded copy of Conker's. Uh, that's an Xbox Live and Reloaded Conker's plush because they didn't make one for the Nintendo 64. Then we've got some coasters here, beer mugs, a ready to rumble boxing pin, another beer mug. That rounds off the cart collection. Next up, we've got the TV stand. So we've got some deco lights above the TV. We've got Cappy from Super Mario Odyssey. Another Cappy there. A Devoom Pixel. We've got my Nintendo Switch, 3D printed. Scub case for my Raspberry Pi. Game Boy Advance Shelf Talker. And we've got my 12 Nintendo 64s, all with records behind them. Starting at the top, we've got Legend of Zelda with the Retro Fighter Brawlers, wireless green, jungle green controller, and then another custom with uh, Conker's record behind it. We've got my custom Nintendo 64 with a Monopoly prototype playing on it right now and a uh, watermelon. Retro Fighter Brawlers with the Pokemon Moonshake record. We've got the Ocarina of Time custom Nintendo 64 with a Retro Fighter Brawler Ice Blue controller on it. That's a Legend of Zelda soundtrack for Moonshake Records. Beside that, we've got another Legend of Zelda custom and then a Retro Fighter Gray Brawler and then Guardians of the Galaxy record. This shelf, we've got the Clear red Nintendo 64 from Japan on an angled stand. And then we've got... I didn't have a second Diehawk, so I just put my spare, uh, one of my spare fire oranges in here. For now, so I could have all the Diehawk, like all the controllers on the back wall. We've got Sonic the Hedgehog. Record back there from Moonshake Records. We've got my Diehawk, or sorry, Jusco 30th Anniversary with the 64DD attached to it. With extreme green and a Castlevania record behind it. Clear ice with the 40 Wing Sky and then Donkey Kong 64 soundtrack. Or sorry, not the Donkey Kong, I think it's just Donkey Kong Country. We've got another Pokemon. We've got a smoke controller with a regular console. We've got a midnight blue controller and console from Japan with Linkin Park in the back. Another custom Zelda controller and con or console, sorry, with extreme green. And then the NES Power Glove record. A charcoal Nintendo 64 with jungle green. There you have it. That's the TV stand. Finally, getting to this shelf. We've got Rob the Robot on top with DuckTales, my very favorite NES game as a kid. Pokemon Yellow on the NES and Gyromite. And then we've got the top loader Nintendo with a custom, um, that's 8-bit uh, Christmas from I think 2019 or 2018. It's got all of them on it. And we've got a custom Legend of Zelda laser etched uh, cartridge, an arcade from Japan or China, wherever the hell it came from, uh, AliExpress. Original Nintendo, the SNES Junior, Rose Colored Gaming's Marvelous, an SE, a Super Nintendo, my Game Boy Advance kiosk with a bunch of Game Boy stuff, complete in box, my childhood copy of Pokemon Crystal, a Phoenix Orb from the Phoenix Orb Project, Game Boy Micro, the kiosk, an original Game Boy. Down here we've got all the, well, most of the Pokemon games. And then some Game Boys back there. We've got a Game Boy Micro, Game Boy Colors, Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Advance, and then an e-card reader, some PSPs, a Game Gear, some more Game Gear games, a couple more, Game Boy Advances, Nintendo 3DS, Game Boy Advance, the box for the Game Boy Micro, Donkey Kong 64, or not Donkey Kong 64, sorry, Donkey Kong uh, 3DS stand thing. Uh, Ocarina from Ocarina of Time, couple N64 cart stands, 
a 3D, a DS, DSi, and a Nokia N gauge. Besides that, we have Pokemon map from Pokemon Yellow. My Conker's Bed Fur Day posters that were signed by the dev team. Well, there you have it. There is my 2021 game room tour. If you enjoyed, smash the like button, leave a comment below, and uh, find me on Instagram. I'm always posting on there. 64 guy out.